Hey, how's it going YouTube? Uh, today I want to show you guys my uh, hand tech oscilloscope and my uh, function generator, which is like a waveform generator. Okay, let me show you what I got here. Here's my own little kit I made. Um, I actually bought this metal case from uh, Harbor Freight for very inexpensive and I uh, came with this foam stuff so here's my actual hand tech scope I got some amp clamps this here is my function generator I was talking about this is actually called a uh, um, what is that FG 100 DDS function generator I picked this up on eBay for about I think it was about 25 bucks um, it does different sine waves like, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, it does different waveforms like a sine wave, does like a square wave, a triangle, uh, sawtooth, reverse sawtooth, and uh, I don't know, maybe something else, but I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but I'm just going to pull out my function generator, pull out my oscilloscope. Um, Putting this back. Here I have a lot of my, uh, this is my hookup for my scope. Um, this is what I use to power my function generator. Uh, a little, just a little bitty cable. Plugs into a, a USB power supply. I could run that off my computer, but I run my oscilloscope off my computer and I don't know, I just don't want to overload it. So. Here I keep all my attenuators and a uh, bunch of other stuff. Uh, back here I keep a lot of leads, various things. And today I'm just going to be using uh, two of these leads. One to hook up to my scope and one to hook up to my function generator. Okay, I'm going to hook up everything and then I'll show you guys what I got. As you can see I have my function generator plugged into an outlet and it comes in and it plugs in right here to power it and this says it's a, a 5 volt DC input um, I have my output coming here and it's just I have two um, leads exactly the same alligator clips I have my red going to red and my black going to black and I pushed the uh, coverings over it so you can't see the metal teeth uh, but if I pull it back here you can see and what I'm talking about see there I just you know smush them together and creates a good so I have this going from my function generator right into my channel one of my scope and of course my scope uh, power comes in here and just plugs into my USB port then here I have my software, which is uh, right here. Click on my hand tech. That's my hand tech right there. Click on that. And this pops up. Uh, right now it's on. This here is my, sorry about the glare. That's my channel one is selected on. Uh, it's on Right now it's on a 5 volt setting and a one, one millisecond per division time base um, yeah so that's what I got um, what I'm going to do is turn this uh, this power on here let me show you what see this says sine wave frequency if I want to change the waveform I hit mode that's a square um, triangle, uh, sawtooth, reverse sawtooth, and back to sign. So you pick which you pick which pattern you want. Um, I'm going to do a square wave pattern. Now, to to change the frequency, you hit cursor, and but as you can tell, right now it's the one is actually uh, highlighted right now. I didn't push anything yet. But if I want to make that go down to zero, I hit negative. 
if I wanted to make it 200,000 hertz, you know, I can go this way. I can add more. But what I'm going to do is go to zero. I want zero there, so to go to the next digit, I hit cursor. It pops over. I can make it uh, 10,000 hertz. Um, but I'm not. I'm going to just make it uh, 1,000 hertz. So I'm going to set it for 1,000 hertz. Now, when you hit, when you're ready to send the output signal, you hit run stop. And as you can see, it just popped up on the screen. It's actually, it, it saves the picture here, so you pause it. Okay, I'm going to show you. This is this. The scope's not ready. I'm going to, I'm going to hit this button here. Square wave pattern, 1000 hertz. So I'm going to hit that. Pow, there goes the signal. Um, you can see that. Uh, I have my trigger set up for, um, I don't know if I can show you, but normal, uh, edge, trigger off channel one, trigger slopes on the positive side, uh, I'm sorry, negative side, that's negative, but as you can see, this trigger is on the falling edge, and this trigger is set up. You can set up for wherever you want it to, to, to trigger off of. Um, the vertical, I mean this trigger, you can move it. Well, you see how the trigger is on the falling edge? That's the minus. If I, if I click on positive over here, you'll watch it'll switch to the positive side. See, now it's on the positive side. So you can set your triggers up to how you want it, manipulate things. But if I move this over, you can see the, the waveform will, will come with it. Um, uh, I could change around the time base and you know get more get more events or less events. Let me go to uh, 10, 10, 10, uh, 10 milliseconds. I get a whole bunch in there. See if I just, uh, you know, look at looking at the pattern. Sorry, I can use my arrow keys and go up and show you can look at it. You know, as I go up and down, it'll change. It's probably easier to show you this way than clicking individually. But as you can tell, I mean, you change your time base, you can get more or less, uh, you know, more or less patterns on the screen. Uh, that's a square wave. Um, if I wanted, I mean, I know I can I can look at my divisions and measure this, but or I can just go up here to to measure, like measure right there. Go to vertical. I can go to peak to peak, and look, it'll it'll tell me the voltage right there, peak to peak, real quick. Other things on measure, I can go to. Uh, um, it's hard to see this. Peak to peak, middle amplitude. RMS, uh, same thing for horizontal. I could do duty cycle, pulse width. So I, mean, I can look at the frequency. And as you can tell here, it, it's one kilohertz, just like this. Look at that, 1,000 hertz. Same thing as one kilohertz. Um, some of the other functions on here. Uh, see this knob here? This basically changes your. Watch this voltage here, and watch the pattern. Try to get it both in there. But I can make the voltage go up all the way to about 23 volts. You don't really want to go any higher than that because uh, it could damage your scope. You know, you, you go much higher than that, and you'll have to uh, get get a attenuator. See, I can go down, make make the voltage. I mean, make the amplitude. Right now, it's like four volts, but turning this knob here does that. Changes the uh, amplitude and you know I can change the frequency to make changes 
you want to hit the uh, run stop button because it won't it won't change um, while you're doing this. So I'm going to go to a uh, triangle pattern. Then when I'm ready to to run it, I hit run, and then there it goes. There's a triangle pattern about a 12 volt amplitude, uh, one kilohertz frequency. I can change the frequency over here and make this, you know, change. So it's a pretty cool little tool, um, I think. At least when you're first starting out, uh, which I am, I'm by no means an expert at using an oscilloscope, but I like doing this because it lets me play with it and change, uh, measure things, and you know, just get more comfortable with my scope. But I'll change it. Change the uh, so if I want to change it, either the frequency or the waveform. I just hit run stop. As you can see, this stops right here. Um, I can change the mode. Now I'm at a sawtooth pattern. So I'll hit run stop again. And there it is. And there's the you know there's the voltage. I can change it, make it bigger, make it smaller. You know, play with it. Um, I really don't know what all this stuff does. I haven't played with it yet, but I suspect that that'll move that up. If I turn that, I'm betting it'll move this on the screen. Oh, this has got to be on. Oh, i got to hit the on button. Yep, I moved it. It's moving it up and down, offsetting it. Yeah, that's what that does. Kind of does some screwy stuff. You got to hit it on off. I just turned it off and it went back to normal. So that's what that does. I can make it. I can turn that on. And it moved it. This makes it go pot. This makes it go positive. Of course, this makes it go negative. And when you're on zero, I guess that's closer to zero. But positive, negative. And if you turn this off, it goes back. So that's pretty much everything this does. Um, actually, I mean, there's a few more wave patterns. So I hit stop. And I can change the uh, mode. Sawtooth. That's a reverse sawtooth. Which looks like that. I can change the uh, run, hit run stop. Uh, change this to a sine wave again. I don't know if I've done, no I haven't done sine wave yet. That's a sine wave. And like I said, I can I can manipulate the amplitude. Uh, so this is pretty neat, I think. I mean, for 25 bucks, you have a little signal generator. You can play with your scope. Uh, well, that's uh, all I wanted to show you guys about this. Uh, I wasn't really going into a whole lot of detail. I just think if you buy a hand tech scope and you're still learning like I am, this is a pretty cool little tool to have to, you know, measure some waveforms and play around with the frequency and, you know, do stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's it. Take it easy, YouTube.